Hey guys, it's been a while, so uh, it's getting cold, and a lot of people want that hearty meal, that easy to make homemade meal. And today, we're gonna make some homemade chili. And this is how I make my chili. And it's stuff that you can get, you know, stuff that you probably have at your house already. And it's pretty easy to make, so yeah, it's good to be back. Plan on making more of these videos. So go ahead and subscribe, follow, like, comment on how you make your chili, what you want to see me make, and let's get into it. You're gonna put a little bit of, I use avocado oil, that's what I had with me, with some avocado oil, little avocado oil, that or olive oil. I just happened to have avocado oil because I was making something that needed really high heat. So you're gonna throw some of that in there you're gonna take your veggies that you cut up. So it's about a third of an onion, a whole red pepper, one jalapeno, and two cloves of garlic. Uh, garlic. That should be enough for what we're making. Uh, again, it's your preference on how much heat you want. I'm doing one jalapeno because my family likes it more medium. I'm making some chili. You don't like chili? Too spicy. Well, see, that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Too spicy. Not a uh, sponsor, but hey, gotta make sure it tastes good. Yep, tastes like Pacifico. Medium to high heat. Don't want to burn it. Don't want to... I mean, that oil's not going to burn. It takes a uh, totally higher temperature than that. But it, what, what it does is it allows it to uh, not fry the, uh, the veggies. It, it makes them uh, tender. Now you want to add maybe about eight ounces or so of beer. It's probably good. You're going to let that boil. Mm. All right, so that's pretty good. Now we can go ahead and put this into the Dutch oven. All right, we'll get this pan cleaned out because next I'm gonna cook a nice prime rib on high heat, avocado oil. This uh, prime rib on, on a really high temperature because I just wanna sear it because it's gonna continually cook. While it's in the Dutch oven. Cause it's a it's a pretty long recipe like it you know it takes some time to cook you still want the steak to be pretty uh rare inside because it's going to sit in this dutch oven for about two hours total time just soaking in all the juices and pretty much like like you're making a stew so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this out and then i will cut it up into little cubes so you get that little morsel of prime rib when you're taking a bite of your chili. Perfect. Pretty raw or rare. It's like definitely rare. All right, so we got the the cubed prime rib. Or not, I don't know why I keep calling it prime rib. It's ribeye. Alright. Okay, go ahead and start breaking it up. You're gonna add some pepper. That looks like a lot. Trust me, it's not. 
Gonna add some ground cumin. A healthy amount of chili powder. A bit of uh, cayenne pepper. And just like that, that's all the seasoning you need. Oh, I'm sorry, no it's not. You want to use like a, uh, a beef bouillon cube, break it up. Uh, I use this, it's better than bouillon. I really don't know if it is, it's just a little more convenient. So about, about that much. About that much. Cut up your brown beef. Brown sugar. About that much. Who are we kidding? We can do one more dollop. And just keep mixing until it browns. I mean, if you could smell this through your your monitor, your phone, your TV, or whatever. Oh man, this one, you want to smell it, Charlie? Here, come over on this side. Here, I'll put a little bit on the spoon or on this on the stir. And just tell me, smell it. We're gonna add the tomatoes. Normally I'll use a San Marzano uh, from Italy, but I did not have any, but I did have, same brand though. Uh, it's from Italy, but it's not the San Marzano. And if you make pizza, and if you make pizza, then you, you know what that's all about. So there we go. We got these in. And we're gonna add some fire roasted tomatoes. Stir it up. We got it on a medium heat because what we wanna do is get this to a boil and then drop it down to a simmer. So we're gonna take all our meat, all our tomatoes, put it right in. You're gonna drop it down to a simmer for about 90 minutes. And then at 90 minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put in uh, dark red kidney beans for the last half hour on simmer. So here we are, it's been an hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and boom. I mean, that is pretty awesome looking, but we're not done. We need to add two cans of uh, dark red kidney beans. We need beans. Go ahead and add those in. I'm gonna let it simmer for another half hour. And while we're doing this, we're gonna make a nice uh, cream sauce, crema, creme, whatever. We're gonna take some sour cream. We're gonna put it right in here, little blender. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. I don't have any fresh lemons, so. This will work. Just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some cilantro. Get that in there. And right, then we'll just give it a couple little spins. Perfection. It's a nice creamy sauce. Yes, I'm using a fork. It's gonna go right on top of the chili. All right, it's been a half hour. Let's go ahead and check the finished product. It's a little hot. Ooh, look at that. Turn it off. Go ahead and turn off the heat. Thanks for bumping right into the camera, Charlie. Ooh, yeah. some in and boom it's got a good thickness to it 
We're gonna come over here. All right, you can go different ways. I like to add a few crackers. What'd you call me? <laughs> right in here. Get some shredded cheese, put right on there. And then the sauce that I made, the crema sauce. It thickened up because it got about a half hour of sitting in the refrigerator. And boom. What's in your crema sauce? Well, I already told them when I made it. Oh. There we go, we got an awesome bowl of chili. And if you don't want to do the ribeye, you can use chicken. But there you go. Now time to taste. Stir it up. Ooh, it's so hot. chili. I mean, simple to make. You probably have the ingredients in your house already. Ooh, that's got some flavor. It's not too hot. I mean, it's temperature-wise hot, but the spices I put in don't overpower it. Hey, guys. Ooh, it's dinner time. I'm not eating that. I'm You're going to eat it. And you're gonna like it! I hate chili! But it makes you fart.